All right, so General Vinson from my one of my esteemed viewers on Twitch, if you didn't know, uh, gave us this awesome pile. Uh, well, he Vinson basically requested that I brew with World Pyre, and I realized mostly through chat's help that uh, tomes are in the format. So with paintings and tomes. We can satisfy what are basically two of my requirements for a good World Pyre deck. And we haven't been able to satisfy these requirements since the Silex nerf. And that is consistent untapped power on turns 2 and 4. And the ability to play a power base that's basically 100% dual lands. Uh, I am playing a few Cobalt Waystones just because it's that good. But other than that... Um, those are my requirements for a World Pyre deck to at least even be playable before I'd even consider it. So since we've met those standards, uh, we were able to get something thrown together. I chose to base my deck around 3 faction. This was partly because I wanted Saloon Massacre and nothing remains. And Stormhalt plating in the deck and I found Primal to be the best sort of... Uh, addition and that's mostly just because cobalt waystone's really good and it also gives us the two the two paintings and the two tomes so that's kind of the idea behind the deck uh you're really just trying to get to four power slam world power uh then against aggro or really against anyone use souls rest um to either play a power or like pop all their aegis and bounce all their guys and you're really just stalling until you just spam A to the Horu or like plating or something and win the game. Uh, Zoe is mostly there to create plunder fodder or like um, just give you some way to churn um, early on. You really want like good two drop plays so that on turns two and three you have something to do. Uh, you don't always have Golem, um, so Zoe's pretty good for that. Um, Zoe also combos nicely with Exploit because. You don't go down a card, and you can use the. You can actually turn exploit into, you know, take their relicate and have a power. Um, Saloon Massacre is an excellent board wipe. Being able to have access to a board wipe that you can play on like turn two or turn three and just buy you time to get World Pyre into play or like cast and nothing remains is kind of huge. Uh, especially against decks like Yetis and stuff where not even one board wipe is enough. You really need to like have your first board wipe, like half kill their board because half their crap has ages for some reason. And then you need the second one to clear them out. So uh, it's good for that. Uh, usually we'd play like Lightning Storm or Aramont's Designs in this slot. But I think Saloon Massacre is an upgrade. It is harder to get the mana for it. But I think the upside of it just killing more things makes it worth it. Uh, for the market, Silverblade Menace is pretty decent. We could play like Scourge in the slot, but half the time the decks we want Scourge against, um, sure, like Scourge would lock them out of the game, but Silverblade Menace just kills them, so that's good. And Silverblade Menace is also good against decks like Kira that Sir Scourge wouldn't be good against, so uh, that's the reason for that. Um, end of the story, uh, warp kill stuff. Yeah, this is basically value with broker. Um, even if you're just warping this into play just to kill one thing, it's fine. Uh, it's basically free real estate, uh, just because it has warp. Uh, you could also play the primal warp card that like clones stuff if you want to be super spicy, but I'm not sure how worth it that is. Um, I chose for the last card we'll get to, to be my spice card. Uh, Stormhold Knife, you broker this in against aggro and just hope it's enough. Um, we have a ton of card draw, so you can reasonably expect uh, to draw a few of these, and if you're able to like combine this with some board wipes, you might actually be able to stabilize. Uh, aggro is still a really crappy matchup, but this is the best we can do to stop it. Uh, and Broker is actually a pretty solid body to play into aggro. Uh, assuming they're not just sitting on the permafrost, burning a hole in their hand. Uh, from the Heavens is just funny. You broker it into play and you make a bunch of Valkyries. Um, I'd say these last two cards are pretty much the flex slots and you could really put whatever you want in here. 
uh, I just chose for these. Uh, and then Twitch chat made me put Highway Devourer in, so I crafted it and put it in. Uh, we did win a game with it, but if I'm being honest, I basically stalled a little bit to cast this instead of just winning the game earlier. But it's funny, it's the new card, like, if there was ever a deck that could play it, it was ours. Um, is it correct in this slot? Probably not. Is it funny though? Yes. So this is here. Um, some other potential options, like I said, is uh, end of, let's get to it, the end of hostilities is pretty good. Um, you could also play like Davia, or if you really don't like relic decks, you could play like Burglarize. But, you know, it's really up to you what you put in here. You can really do whatever you want. Like, um, you could even put Channel the Tempest in here. I don't really think it's necessary. But, like I said, it's kind of a... These are kind of the flex slots. You kind of decide what you want to put in here. Uh, but, this is what I did because I thought it was funny. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this deck.